Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Terra Randoma. Well, uh, this developer actually reached out and offered me a Steam key for this game, and I was like, oh, I'm going to totally play it, and then I got distracted, and they've been steadily releasing updates for this game. It is in early access. It is a roguelike, and I love roguelikes, so... Let's see what this is all about. So we're going to make a new game. Um, choose your name, background, and star sign. Tark your type your name. Okay, well, it's... Dr. Incompetent, of course. And my backgrounds can be... <laughs> Retired Gladiator. Hunter. Highlander. Exalted Prince. It looks like you have some basic... RPG, Stats, Strength, Dexterity, Intelligence, Druid, Brigand, Sage, and Arcanist. Well, the Sage looks pretty good. Starting Skills, Meditation, Wilderness Survival, Speechcraft, Light Armor, and Alchemy. Okay. And Star Sign, I don't know what any of this means. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So if I'm the bear, for example, I'm going to get... A bonus skill of a two-handed weapon and a bonus item, which is a bronze ring of anger. Well, that isn't really what I want. Um, we're going to do difficulty permadeath because, hey, it's a roguelike. And we're going to go over here and let's look at these things. Athletics, meditation... And we get a linen belt of intelligence. This looks really good for us. I picked this background because I like spellcasters, and I like that it has a beard like me, so sure, let's be a sage of the turtle on normal difficulty level, permadeath, just for fun, and continue. Legend tells a story, a story about an ancient horror that awakens every 10,000 years and devours the world before it sleeps again. That doesn't sound good. Only a handful of people who can read the omens know that time is near. That's even worse. Look at those tentacles coming out of the water back there. By the way, I like the impressionistic look of this screen. Nice bright colors. But there is hope. An ancient tablet which shows the nest of this sleeping horror. A tablet divided into five pieces and hidden away in five different places. Five lords of the realm each knows one of the pieces whereabouts. They don't trust each other and they won't trust you. You have to earn their goodwill and collect all five pieces to face this entity before it fully awakens. So says the Chronicles of the Elder Alchemist in winter of 1599. Okay. So it's creating a new world and we need to wait. Okay. Welcome to Terra Randoma. This is a turn-based roguelike RPG in a procedurally generated open world full of curiosities and adventure. Take on quests at the taverns for reputation and coins. Cool. With more reputation, you will get more rewarding quests from the lords. You can camp for resting and food. Exclamation marks at the top indicate the level of danger on each title. Or tile, rather. Don't forget to use your talent stones during combat. They grant you special powers. You have two of them to start with. They are on... Your, the action bar at the bottom. I see that. You can buy more talent stones at the Adventurer's Guild. So I guess those are my skills. Um, and they're not consumed upon use, I'm assuming. Check your journal to see how close you are to discovering the ancient secret that lies beneath the island. Good luck. Okay. So I'm on a ship, and I'm just moving the mouse around. And it's like I'm playing a tabletop game uh, where... Maybe this is like the wood grain of the table, and we have a map, and the mouse just kind of orients my ship. I'm going to take a look at the... I'm going to zoom out using the mouse wheel, and... Oh yeah, there's a cool grid base with fun, shaded map. Uh, looks like I have a teleport. Teleport yourself up to five squares away. Okay, that's my first talent, and then I also have lightning lance. Cost 25 stamina. Is this my stamina, this yellow? Or, which health, stamina, food? Is that what's going on here? I don't know. 
Um, journal. Okay. I have zero experience. I have slain zero champions. My title is Wanderer. I've done no escort missions. I've saved no towns. Rescued no people. Retrieved no items. And I have made no progress. My backpack tells me indeed that strength is 6, dexterity is 7, intelligence is 10, and that yes, okay, I was correct. I have 61 health, which is this red bar. I have 56 stamina, which is this yellow bar, and I regenerate 0.98 per turn. And I have 180 food, and I lose 51 per day. In my backpack, I have my belt of intelligence, which I need to equip. And I will. And it gave me an extra intelligence point. Which, um... It affects search, shop prices, mind resistance, elemental resistance, elemental damage. Increases the chance of speech craft and wilderness survival skill checks. Wow. It kind of very much feels like 2nd edition D&D. &D, um, and they've truncated D&D &D stats down to just 3. Here's my resistances... Um, I have a 10 fame. I have this much speed. It affects how you act, fast you act in the battlefields and the dungeons. Um, it can be improved by dexterity and swiftness. Your current speed grants you a free action every 24 turns. That's bad. My load is how much I can carry, and the search is affects the quality and quantity of items you find inside chests. Wow, interesting. You find more gold in the dungeons. It can be improved by intelligence and thievery. Well, I'm really smart. I've got some potions that restore stamina, which is like my magic points, effectively. And potions that restore my health. And I have some farmer's bread and some food. I am wearing a hat. I have light armor. And I have some boots. I also have my staff and a bow apparently okay uh, the map says i'm here this is silk site okay and i think they said something about the exclamation point to indicate the difficulty i don't think they meant this maybe they meant like how much money you can get but let's go to silk site it's the closest i don't know what i'm doing um Here's my character screen, which also tells me my skills. Okay. I have no skill points, no attribute points. Speechcraft says, wow, okay. Excuse me, everybody, while I navigate this game in a kind of haphazard way, just acclimating myself. I didn't realize how deep this was going to be when I booted it up. It's cool. All right, Speechcraft. This skill improves your relationship with people. You will get better prices from shops and quests. Okay, so I'm a beginner. Every point gives you 4% more chance to succeed in speechcraft checks and 5% better deals from shops. But if I have 5, then I become competent, which is a surprise for me being incompetent, and I would get 20% more gold from quests. And sea travel is 10% cheaper. Wow, that's pretty good. Meditation... I'm just kind of going down to my highest skill. It says it enhances my elemental damage and all of my resistances, and I can use talent stones more efficiently. Every point gives you one point to resistance and reduces food consumption by 2%. When I get to competent, I get plus one to elemental damage, and talent stones use 20% less stamina. That is disgustingly good. Yeah, we definitely want to go meditation. Wilderness survival is... I can hunt and forage better, avoid wilderness encounters, and travel faster. Um, I get 4% chance with each point to avoid wilderness encounters, and 4% chance to find loot from creatures, and I can camp safer if I become competent. Alchemy says I use potions more effectively, um, and each point gives me 5% more effectiveness, and... If I'm competent, if it's a buff potion, it'll last longer. Light armor says I just get more defense. The more points I have into it. And fantastic. Okay, great. Um, menu. Okay, well, here I am. I moved. 
I'm just going to move my little ship over. Oh, these are the exclamation points to indicate danger. I'm going to embark. And, oh, it, yeah, it is a tabletop. Look at me. I can't really tilt the camera as far as I can tell um, too severely. It's just this kind of top down. But look, there I am. I'm a miniature. All right, move over here. Uh-oh, three difficulty. Maybe that means, like, you know, things are ramping up. Or maybe it's just because it became nighttime. Let's go into this town. It's a starry midnight with clear skies. The streets are empty except some shadows here and there. Um, settlement prosperity. Yes, the coins mean prosperity, and the stars actually just mean my reputation. So let's go to the tavern. Let's try to get a quest. The Harlequin and Centurion Tavern and Inn. <laughs> Look at this cute game. It, it's the middle of the night, and you just came for the last round of drinks. Okay. Hi, tavern keeper. Greetings. Oh, hello. Okay, you've got very long hair. Um, Kendra is the enlightened tavern keeper. She looks enlightened. Greetings, traveler. Do you need any of our services? Your reputation and speechcraft give you 13% better prices. Cool. Uh, so I could rest, I could eat, throw a banquet. No thanks, that's funny. Um, let's see if there's a quest. Look at this dude. He's got two huge mugs of beer. Awesome. Abelard, the sweaty barber. He looks sweaty. And if he's a barber with that beard and that hair, we're in trouble. Greetings, traveler. You seem like a capable person. I need help on one matter. What's the job? Let's take his stuff. 28% chance to pick his pockets. So sorry, sweaty. What's the job? My cousin, Andromar, has been kidnapped by the Daemonis the Ratman. He's imprisoned in the palace of the crafty noble. God, I love randomly generated titles and names. I need a hero to save him. What say you? What will be my prize? If I do this, I could get 570 gold, 26 rep, and 13 settlement prosperity. Um, can you give me more than that, dude? I mean, I know you're sweaty, but let's do this. All right. Yes, my speechcraft. I had a 63% chance with my speechcraft, and we nailed it. And he's going to now give us 684 gold coins. Heck yeah, I'll help you. Thank you. I marked the dungeon on your map. I'll be waiting here till I hear from you. Good luck. See you soon. Um, what's the brawler? You seem to be looking at me the wrong way. I guess you're curious to meet my anger. Um, shut up and live. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm not afraid of you. Fight. Try to pickpocket. No, I don't really want to fight anybody. Let's go to the town square. Let's see what, the, what there is in the shop. Hello, Arianilla, the nervous shopkeeper. I guess you calm your nerves by boozing it up. The wolf's hammer. Welcome to my humble shop. What do you want to see? I really like the texture on your shirt. Um, we need to see what kind of armor you got. They have, um, holy smokes, I don't have even near the amount of stuff that, that it would take. What about a ring? Um, do I have any money? I have 250 No, no, I can't buy anything. I mean, that's cool, but... Actually, wait, do you have potions? How much are they for a stamina potion? It's 150 Okay. Oh, good to know the prices of things. I'm not actually going to buy anything at the moment because uh, I don't really have a feel for the economy. Sanity potion. Potion of speed. So your movement speed is doubled for 20 turns. And if I was competent at alchemy, um, it would be a 25% boost. So, you know, what, we get 24 turns? Or, I mean to say... 25 turns 20 ranged attack shapeshift into a bat drain life on attack fly over water and lava that's cool 
cure disease, cure poison, and elemental resistance. All right, nice. And let's talk to the town's lord. This is the throne room. I just get to walk right in. This dude looks pretty sweet with his cape and chain. Lord Victoros, the inspiring. We always need brave heroes like you, but your reputation's rather low. Come back when you have 25% reputation, and I might have a special quest for you. All right. So I got to go impress people. Okay, so... I have no idea what's going on. It's zero hours, and it's day two. Can I just take my boat? Oh, I rented a boat for 12 gold an hour. Ooh, that's too expensive. Um, where do you want me to go? The Palace of the Crafty Noble. It's marked on my map. Okay. It's up here. All right. Well, let's get off the boat. And stop wasting our money and just kind of... Let's go. <laughs> this is fun. You just kind of glide along with the mouse. It doesn't even seem to use the keyboard. Um, this is a traveling merchus. merchant. The hunter, Lord Androcles the Sensible. Hi, stranger. I have meat and arrows to sell. They're 40% cheaper than the shops. Are you interested? I need better prices. Fail. Sorry, quote, noble hero. That's all I can give. Lowercase i. Touche. Let me see what you have. Um, yeah, I mean, it is cheaper. I just I don't really want to spend my money on that right now. Now, this is the town called Hagenfire, which I appreciate. I don't know what this icon on, on the top means. Like It looks like a ring. Um, but... I have a quest to do, and I'm skipping everything to go do that. Is this wise? I don't know. Oh no, ambush. Stop right there, mortal. Surrender to the horrors of the world beyond. Alright. Well, I have to say I'm terrified of the world beyond and phantom soldiers. Let's see if our wilderness survival can get us out of this. We have a 52% chance... To avoid the encounter, we failed. Our knowledge of the wilderness is not enough to avoid this encounter. All right, we're going to fight. Okay, I have no idea what is happening here, and I might die. What's the range on this? Um, it looks like... I can't get there. Um, it looks like they're too far away. Okay, cool. All right, so here we are in battle. There's a separate battle map. Man, this is so cool how it looks. feels like a tabletop with miniatures and, you know, things like that. Now, let's see if I can actually... Um, out of range, it's telling me. All right, so I kind of have to wait. Um, I'm going to just say options, and I'm going to look at the controls. This game is fully playable with the mouse. Great. Okay, um, space is the wait button. Okay, perfect. Oh, and you can save with F5. Alright, cool. Graphics quality. Five, give me the best. Alright, um... I'm gonna wait. And then now, I'm going to shoot like this. It looks like I might hit both of them. I did. I blasted them both. Oh, but it has a 12-turn cooldown. Oh, my sweet God. All right. Um, so, I just pushed F to start shooting. Let's see if I can shoot them with my bow. Oh, I might not have any... No, I have arrows. I have 40... Keyboard ranged attack mode. Target with numpad. No, no, no. Let's just, um... Hmm. I missed. Okay, I did take a shot. All right, I'm going to try to teleport five squares away. Let's see. Yeah, teleport me, like, here. Great. 
<laughs> I'm just going to run away until my... Um... I'm going to run. Until my cooldown wears off. They might be too fast for this. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Uh-oh, they're on me. He hit me. Okay, great. Now I can at least... I'm despairing, apparently. I don't want to shoot. I want to do this. Uh-oh, why can't I do it? Um... Is it because they're too close to me? Um... Oh, I don't have the stamina. That's what the problem is. Okay, um... There we go. Now, now blast him. All right, we really hit him. Uh, I'm just fighting this guy with my staff, I guess, at this point. Sanity loss, despair. Um, four days left. Minus two to all attacks. Minus 10% to max stamina. It could be cured by a sanity potion. Okay, well... I didn't buy that. <sighs> Alright, um, let's just walk up here. I only want to fight one at a time. Oh, he got knocked back. Take that. Alright, I'll shoot you then. Oh, that didn't work. Hey, we killed somebody. Yeah, you see that? This guy's running away in terror. I tried to shoot you. Hey, I did shoot you. Yes, I killed you with my bow. Cool. We won. All right, I was pretty sure I was going to die there, but sometimes you win. And what did we pick up? Vial of Sulfur Dust. This item can be sold at the Alchemist Tower for a better price. All right, well, take all the treasure. And um, I know you can play this with the mouse only, and that seems really awesome. But I also like, I just like using number keys. What is in this chest? You need to open this chest using your thievery skill. Well, it's bad, but I can try. Seems like you lost a lockpick. I got it. These are my lockpicks. I have seven. Open that chest. What do we get? Ooh, we got a, an, a gold abacus, which is like a valuable item. We can go sell this. And we got a balanced driftwood bow. Yeah, take all of this treasure. Um, open up my backpack with the B button. And let's see, this is three damage. This is one damage. But it gives you ranged attack plus two. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, um... I actually need to eat this. I'm kind of running low. Alright, I'm gonna go try to open this thing. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Oh, you have a 100% chance to open it. Hey, look at that wooden amulet. Man, that's a nice amulet. And then some silk vest. Okay. Great. Let me look at this backpack. Um, well, might as well. Uh, my health right now says 61. Now it's 62. And I can just put on this new vest... Does my character model reflect the new stuff? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. All right. So, you know, the main concern that I have, honestly, I'm going to go back to the town. Oh, I didn't mean to jump in the boat. Yeah, the, the mouse-only controls are really cool, but you have to be careful when controlling. I like the precision of the arrow keys. Um, let me go over to Tuttle Bridge. Oops. And try to go in here. And I'm going to shop. And here's the Woodsman Helm. Here's Rowana, the untalented shopkeeper. I am sorry to hear that, Rowana. Um, I need to... Can I sell you my stuff? Left click to buy, right click to sell. I'd like to sell this. Did you buy it? You did. Can you buy that? You can. They don't buy it for very much, but I got some money. 
Oh, it says she'll buy it for 296. Great. Okay. Well, now I have 1,200. Um, I'm going to go to the tavern. And, oh, there's a quest. Let's see what... I should probably be getting all the quests I can. I, I was not sure if you'd get more than one quest. Um, so, Lefric, the elegant rhymer. You look like an elegant rhymer. Um, he needs a capable person. I'm so capable. What's the job, my dude? My grandmother, Honorine, has been killed. Oh, my. I'm very sorry to hear that. Jeez. By Rigor, the Chosen One. Ooh, the Chosen One gotcha. This is not his first crime against the innocent. He is hidden in the catacombs of the unknown phoenix. Um, what are you going to give me? Not very much. Can you give me more? All right. I'll help you. Oh, it's right next door, though. Let's go do that. Let's see if it's easier, actually. Um, let's talk to the tavern keeper and... Um, let me eat some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best way to get food. And then leave to the town square. Let me go to the shop. I, I do need to buy some food. I mean... Oh, it's so cheap. Great. Yeah, yeah. Let's just buy some rabbit steak. Whatever. Oh, this even cures, like, stamina. That's cool. Awesome. Um, and then, can I buy some potions? How much is... Do you, oh, you don't even sell a stamina potion. What about a sanity-curing potion? Yeah, let's buy that and just use it on ourselves. I'm not going to have enough for anything else, but... All right. Oh, it's still a two-star difficulty, or a two-skull. Well, whatever. It's right next door. Let's try it. Um, I'm going to right-click to consume it. I used it, so my... I'm, I'm going to save it. And, I mean, it's permadeath, so I don't know how much that matters, but let's go in here. I hope I don't need to torture anything. This place seems dangerous. You wonder if you have enough potions? Probably not. Investigate. Oh, wow. Hail Hydra, huh? Who is this dude? Pickpocket Cult Initiate. Um, what does that, like, icon above his head mean? Does that mean he doesn't know I'm here? I don't know what's going on. Are, is everybody here bad? Should I assume that? I mean, he's a Cult Initiate. That can't be good. I hit him for four. Uh-oh. Why can't I shoot this guy? Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm running away. Oh, he steals coins. Okay, he's taking them from me, not I'm taking them from him. I get it. Okay. Um, let's just... He is taking my money, but we'll just kill him. Maybe we get our money back? He's invisible. This is a problem. We killed him. Wow, look how good that hat is. And a lockpick, and a shield, and some lockpicks. Cool. I don't think I got my money back, though. Alright. Um, I mean... This is way better than my current hat. So put it on. And then... Uh, where would this go? Uh, you, I don't know where you put this. It doesn't seem to want to tell me. That's fine. I understand. Alright. Wow. 
it fully heals you if you use this. I don't think I need it right now, but it's cool. Uh, what do you push to, like, open the door? Oh, okay. Or that'll do. Oh, boy. Well, I have to say, I really like the look of this game. I don't like these bad guys, though. I mean, why would I? Alright, and... Oh, you can... You have an ability called Sprint, where you can just, like... You know, Sprint. Cool. All right. Um, I'm missing. All right. I'm going to teleport as far away as I can. And then we're just going to try to shoot out of range. Okay, let's just wait. You are fatigued. You will regain your strength in three turns. Oh, because I used all my stamina? Oh, jeez. Oh, he's on me. Um, well, this guy's almost dead. Uh oh. This guy's on me. I'm hitting him with my staff, I guess. Killed him. Killed him. Okay. Well, the cool thing is... Um, I'm just going to... Wait. I guess. Um, hey, we get a free action. Whatever that means. What's in here? A medium armor, the Aquatrill belt, a rusty shield, money, and a satin vest. Okay, well. Oh, this is a coral spider. That doesn't look pleasant. It's got 11 hit points. I'm bleeding. Now that's not good. Oh, I'm about to die. God, this only has it, this thing only has two hit points, but I can't kill it. There we go. Um, you're bleeding for three turns. All right, that's bad. I see that. Let's see if I can get a better sense of um, like my status. I see that I'm bleeding. That isn't... I guess it says up here what my status is. Uh, okay. Can I survive this? Just barely. Okay, you know what I need to do? Is I need to go try and get to that fountain and see if it... Oh, no! A harpoon thrower? Okay, I have to use a potion. Because this guy looks nasty. Ooh, we just killed him with our bow. Well, that's very good. All right, I'm going to wait. Just re recover my stamina. I'm going to open this door, I guess. Go down here. Sure. Anything in here? Not really. All right, we're going in. I'm going up. I'm cruising along. Mouse controls here. Um, Alright. Oh, what's this? Explosive barrel. Sage statue. Give intelligence bonus for some coins. Yes, yes, we'll take it. There is an inscription on the pedestal in a small hole to drop coins. In memory of the great sage, Darien the Destroyer, donate 100 gold uh, coins and be blessed by sage's wisdom for several days. So I get four intelligence for a bunch of days. Yeah, I think that's good because it 
directly affects my damage. You can push tab to get like a an overview of the map. What is this? This jerk just came out of nowhere. All right, well, take that. Boy, I'm so bad at hitting this spider. Okay. Take that. <laughs> Should have brought more arrows. I'm about to run out. But we won. Somehow. Hey, they had a pearl. Not actually worth that much. When you think about it. What's in this bag? Hey, food. Uh-oh, somebody's coming. I see this coral spider coming at me. Um, but we do need to eat. So let's just... Uh... Yeah, that's that's fine. Chow on that. We all see you, Coral Spider. It's not a surprise. How many stamina is this? Twenty five? Okay. Okay, well, we won, but we're bleeding. All right. Uh, let's try this well out. Uh-oh. So it looks like it just keeps spawning enemies. Oh, we got some gold from it, and it's a one-use thing. Huh? Arrows are actually good. What are we doing here? Oh, he wants me to kill this chosen one, dude. That's right. Alright. No. Probably up in that region, right? I'm going to slide over here. And this is a, a crafty harpoon thrower. You'll never escape. Hey! We leveled up. We killed somebody. We killed a man, and we leveled up. So we get an attribute point, which will be intelligence, and a skill point, which will take meditation, because it just gives us a bonus and less stamina. So now... That still says beginner. I don't like the look of that, but alright. Nah. No reason to fight this guy. No, no. You don't have to keep coming, Spider. We've we've agreed. Haven't we agreed? A rack full of weapons and arrows. Man, I could use some weapons. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Take it all. Wow. Great. Take it. Yeah, take it. I'm overburdened. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Ooh, this is actually better than what I have. Okay. Um, we're going to drop this noble bow over here because um, it's damage five. It's better than us. Uh, and then we need to drop something. So what weighs the most? This wooden great sword. Drop it. All right. We're not overburdened anymore, right? Okay, I don't think so. Alright. Hopefully that spider has chilled out. And here's this guy. Look, dude. You don't need to do this. Yep, 21 stamina cost. Its cost is... The difference is reflected. I'm out of arrows. Alright. All right, we got him. Nearly killed us. Oh, gosh. You don't have to fight me. You really don't. Oh, we got it. All right, let's eat some grub. 
Yeah, let's eat some bread, sure. Overburdened. Alright. I'm gonna save it. I have a feeling we're about to go fight the big boy. The big bad guy. Or not. Just a bunch of money. I mean, I'm fine with money. It's a sack. It is indeed a sack. Um. Oh, yeah. I can go over here. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's just check this out. Looks great. Mm-hmm. That is not the guy. Uh, but he's going to come fight us. All right, fine. Fine. Enjoy that. Out of arrows. Still. Didn't I pick up some arrows? I uh, probably already fired them all. Oh, that's a nice shot. Tell you what, that health potion might be exactly what we need to defeat this boss. A moonstone? Alright. What is this? Just some kind of like random door? That is probably the bathroom, is what I'm guessing. Here's the dude. Oh no, he's not the dude. He's just He's the cult initiate champion, but he's not the dude. Um. All right. Well, what happens if I? All right. I mean, I did hit him. That's pretty good. Like a lot of people are. Oh, that's the wrong way. I did, I meant I'm trying to run actually. Um. Let's just teleport. I way over here and then make a way boy I wish I could throw something and blow up that barrel I just don't have any arrows but I can hit you with lightning take that mm -hmm. yeah I can go down it's a death sentence for me if I do it, but I think I can run enough so that I'll have um, I'll have stamina. I'm just going to use this potion right away and blast you. Almost dead. All right, we'll just wait. You almost had me, but I teleported because I'm afraid. And then now, all right, we are fatigued, but we do get, I think we could take this guy. Yes, we beat him. And that, that appeared to be the guy. I mean, the, so the icon above him must have been, like, his quest icon. And, hey. He did a lot of damage to us, but... Oop. We're still alive. Take that, buddy. Alright. Um... Can I close the door? Yeah, deal with that spider. Aw, what kind of spider can open the door? That's not nice. Alright, we got it. Almost died. Very nearly died. So the quest log says... Um, I completed the quest. I should return to Tuttlebridge to claim the reward. You're darn right we should. Let's go see what this reward is going to be, huh? 
go out. Come on, Turtle Bridge. Turtle Bridge. Tavern. Quest. Thank you. Here is your reward. 125 experience. 20 reputation. And 450 gold. And the town's prosperity went up 10 points. See you. Leave to the town square. So the Lord now says... He's going to give us a quest. Do you know the relics of Knight Sebastios the Educated? They are in the layer of the Emerald Cloud. I can mark it for you. Mark it, my man. All right. And let's go to the shop. And let's just sell everything we got. So we have a bunch of stuff to sell to you. You're going to love buying stuff from us. Okay. We actually have like 4,000 money. Nearly 5,000. That's actually impressive if you think about it. So what do we want to do with all this money? I don't know. I probably want arrows and potions to be honest. Um, but let me go to the tavern and tavern keeper and can we rest? We sure can. That was amazing. Awesome. Well, everyone, look at us. We leveled up once. We're halfway. Oh, we're well rested. What does that do? 10% max health and max stamina? That's, God, I should be well rested all the time. Okay, that's something else to do. And we got a good look at this game. We completed our first quest, visited a few towns in a dungeon, and... I have to say, like, this is an early access game. Obviously, a lot is going to be in flux and being changed, but it's a pretty charming game so far. I'm curious to see what you all think of this, uh, you know, kind of tabletop, very, very much D&D-style RPG with a lot more skills and depth than I first expected. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let's have a conversation about uh, what we think of Terra Randoma. Everyone, if you liked the video, uh, please give it a like, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you want to help out further and support me to continue making content, there are links in the description below for becoming a channel member or a patron. I hope you all have an excellent evening or day. Thanks again. Take care, everybody.